All right, thanks for coming back. This is part two of Lena's Medical Supply Organization. In this video, we're going to show you her living space supplies and her bedroom supplies. If you wanna see her medical room, go back to part one, thanks. All right, so this is her downstairs setup and this is messy. I did not clean this before showing you, so please ignore it all. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what's on this. So we got the cart from Target and we have her one section. This is her um, permanent section, so this is not portable. It has to be plugged in at all times. This gets changed out every two weeks. We have her inline section connected to it. This is her little diaper pail, so it has her Johnson & Johnson head to toe wipes in case we need to wipe her down, boogie wipes, alcohol swabs, Q-tips, diaper cream, other wipes, bacterial, like antibacterial wipes for babies um, that are safe. And then you have like the wet ones back here. Then on the next shelf, you have the container for her HMEs. So these are the two different types of HMEs that she uses because when she's on the vent, she uses this kind. So this is the ventilator um, and her tubing because if she falls asleep down here, we'll have to connect her. This HME gets changed out every time. Um, and if you look inside, like it can't, stuff can't really get through it. Um, but we like to keep it on the end so it kind of protects the inside of this, keeps up, like as many germs out as possible because of the filter that's in there. Um, and so then whenever we go to put her on it, we do replace this. We don't let it just hang out of here. Then down there we have gloves, some spare diapers. This is her Airbo. Um, this is relatively new equipment for us, but this is just to help her um, humidification since we're starting to wean off the ventilator overnight. Um, this is what the end of the Airbo looks like. We also wipe this down with alcohol. Um, sometimes keep it in a plastic bag, whatever, just try to keep it as secure as possible. And then that bag there is for the humidifier, um, their airbo, it's the water that goes to it. So you just refill it, the water runs into there. And that's her little cart. All right, so then we also have storage in her room. So this is the stuff that grab and go daily, we use and then we restock. So I know it seems kind of silly to like have multiple restocks, it just seems to be what works for us. Um, so this is organized primarily by the nurses in the way that they feel like is the most useful for them. Um, so we have the saline bullets, the barrier stuff, the pulse ox things. These are, um, this is oxygen tubing and title um, in case they would ever need to grab it. There is spare oxygen right here, as well as an Ambu bag and her feed stuff. Um, alcohol swabs, trach ties that are not pre-cut. These are like already in the packaging, not pre-cut. This is her sterile Q-tips and um, plastic cups the split sponges, HMEs. These are like, we call them bendy pieces. I don't actually know what they're called. Um, they're just like the accordion piece that allows her to have some more flexibility when she's on the vent. Suction, straight suction catheters, Q-tips, um, clean syringes. These are feed bag and J-tube extension sets because she gets a new feed bag every day. Um, down here is her like therapy oral care type stuff. So it has her Z-Vibe toothbrush, that kind of thing. Um, oral swabs, general wipes, um, comb, uh, thermometer, that sort of thing. Down here is diaper cream, cleanser, um, and Coban because we use the Coban for her pulse ox. This is the last thing. Um, I know it seems like so much, but there it really is so much. Um, this is the table we use for her trach changes so it makes it a lot easier um, until she gets too big for it we're going to keep using it so this has the other stuff so this is her storage that we use for her trach ties so it has pre-cut trach ties pre-cut dressings the cream um, q-tips all of that that way you can just grab this whenever you need to do something you don't have to go hunting through everything back there this is also a thing that I've used for organizing syringes. So you have like the 1 mLs, the 3 mLs, 5 mLs, Tylenol syringes, 12, 10, um, medical supplies, an extra 50, cuff syringes, the little med caps and caps for the end of the vent in case you need those. I got these from Amazon too. They're actually like for fishing, like tackle type boxes, um, but I found them really useful. They have like removable inserts. So you can kind of organize it however you want. This is more suction so that this is here in case they need to swap it out um, and they don't have time to like run and get the rest of it. Sharps container because she gets a vaccine. So we have to store the sharps. Back there are spare wipes in the bin, um, mouthwash for in her, um, in her suction to make it not smell gross. <laughs> Backup Tylenol. This is her G-tube button. So these are the button buddies I was telling you about that are fabric. 
the water um, back up trach and care back there moving down here it's the current open box of dressing so you have X light regular mepilex the um, copa dressing zero more syringes more um, chucks plastic cups we used to use the plastic cups a lot um more q-tips this is the um like diaper genie hand sanitizer um disinfectant wipes so that's what that looks like okay so that's pretty much it for her medical supply storage uh if you want to see her room tour and stuff still we can do that we'll go through like how we have our toys set up and how we have her clothes and how we have her entire vent set up and stuff over there um we're glad to do that but that is how we have her um medical supply so thank you so much for watching um if you want to see more content let me know um if you want to see something specific let me know see you later